opening it for you. This sort of thing is probably a blip in your daily life. Most of us wouldn't give the drive through a second thought. But for Alexis Bogan, ordering a coffee once seemed impossible. Hi, can I get a grande iced brown sugar? Now, for the first time in a long time, she can do these things again thanks to AI. It was amazing to have, but I will find in the back pocket that you just pull out and have it talk for you. The 21 year old, who used to love singing along to country music in the car, was left without a voice after doctors made a terrifying discovery last year. The Associated Press spoke to the specialist who treated her. We discovered that she had a brain tumor in the back of their brain uh, called the posterior fossa, uh, the, the size of a golf ball. It was very vascular. She had to go uh, into urgent brain surgery. The 10-hour operation successfully removed the tumor, but it damaged the part of Alexis's brain that controls eating and voice functions. When she spoke, even Alexis didn't recognize her own voice. I thought that if I couldn't talk, I couldn't be independent. So specialists in Providence, Rhode Island, using new artificial intelligence technology, worked to create a digital clone of Bogan's voice. We were given this early access to this technology called Voice Engine, developed by OpenAI. Taking 15 seconds of audio, it can um, recreate someone's voice. They used an audio sample from a clip well before the surgery where she talked about cooking. You can chop up cucumbers and put this in here. Now, with just a few keystrokes on her phone, AI brings her voice to life. It feels amazing to get my voice back. And AP reporter Matt O'Brien was there as Alexis got her voice back. She kind of voiced some of her feelings about this technology and how it was uh, bringing back the piece of our identity that she felt she had lost. AI is already expanding access for people with disabilities. Last year, we spoke with Brian Fischler. He's legally blind, but uses a virtual assistant powered by AI as a second pair of eyes. Where is the shampoo? The shampoo is located on the bottom shelf towards the left side of the picture. Having this kind of information in the palm of my hand, it's just going to changed so many things. Alexis is one of the first to get her own voice back using AI, but those who specialize in the technology hope she's not the last. The doctors that worked with Lexi are already starting to work with other people at the same hospital. A medical breakthrough helping Alexis Bogan rediscover something that always made her unique, her voice. Now I can have some of my independence back because I have this technology. Ellison Barber, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.